Now to this developing story. A mother wants more supervision on school buses after an eighth grade girl attacked her sixth grade son. The mother says the girl also made death threats. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live in South Fulton County and Taisha administrators told you the girls who started the attack have been suspended. Wendy, the mother of this sixth grader never would have come to us to help her get answers if administrators at this school would have just told her that the girls who attacked her son were suspended. The mother says suspension is a step in the right direction, but it's just not enough. Oh my God. My should be expelled off the bus. That's it for the bus. Oh my God. We had to blur this video that shows an eighth grade girl attacking a sixth grade boy who says he tried to avoid this fight. But two eighth grade girls at Renaissance Middle School in Fairburn just would not stop hitting and threatening him. He said the bullying started way before this attack. The only thing he heard was, oh, we'll bring, a, we'll bring our gun tomorrow. I just don't want to take any of this lightly. You know, kids, they do say a lot, you know, but we have to, we have to listen sometimes because majority of the time kids will act out on certain things. The attack was Thursday. The mom kept both her sons home Friday and kept asking school administrators what they were going to do about this. They didn't tell her the girls were suspended until I started asking questions Monday. She thinks the girls should be off the bus permanently. It shouldn't be, oh, we'll give it a week and then next week you're back on the bus. Like two females against one sixth grader, with which they are in eighth grade. It has to be more supervision on these buses. I get the bus drivers, are they're driving. So when they hear this, they can't stop immediately. They have to get to a safe spot. Then they stop. And in this case, the fight probably would have just kept going on if the bus driver didn't get to a safe place and stop the fight. The mother is still shaken up about all this, and she said her son hasn't been the same since. We're live in South Fulton County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.